Hello, hello, John here, founder of Kittyhawk, here to talk to you about our new Lance product and, and show you how it works. Uh, you'll notice some new designs, a new icon. Most of all, what we all want is Lance, so let's, let's talk about it. Uh, right from the plus button, you can say here, let's request Lance authorization. Step one is all about you, the operator. You need to have a verified phone number, and have your part 107 information uploaded and, and inputted into Kitty Hawk and you're good to go. Next are the details that we wanna set. You can fly anywhere from today uh, up until 90 days in the future. Let us know how long you're planning to fly. This just needs to span daylight hours. It could be, could be an hour, could span multiple flights, whatever fits with your operation. As far as an aircraft, you need to have um, aircraft in your Kitty Hawk fleet that meets three criteria it needs to be marked as commercial and it needs to have both the FAA registration uh, number and date and it'll show up in this list. So if you need to make some changes so that your aircraft is compliant, you can do that in your, in your assets. Uh, let's fly with Kitty Hawk Mavic 1. Next, we can set our flight area. And this is basically drag and drop a, a polygon where you want to fly. At the bottom here are some, some more resources should you need to do a more detailed NOTAM or TFR search. Um, and you can drag this, this area around. Uh, we've also, to kind of help you understand the colors, we have a new key coming in. These generally pertain to FA guidelines for Class B airspace, etc. Um, you'll also notice that we added some X's. So while a airport may have a facility map, it is not necessarily turned on. This is very dynamic. It could pertain to weather that is going on. It, it could just mean this airport isn't quite ready for Lance. Um, so you'll see that. This could also be in specific grids where um, specific areas are not eligible for Lance or ready for Lance, but other parts are. Um, in this case, let's, let's go ahead and head to the Milagro range. And, and set our flight area. So tap, draw flight area. We're gonna drop polygon. And you just need to tap and hold on these different areas. You'll notice as we move into different colored section that actually change from a 300 foot area to a 100 foot. You can drag and, and go, let's say your flight pan expands beyond controlled airspace, you can do that. We'll just go ahead and crop that when the time comes. And should you draw a polygon that is too wide, Beyond reasonable line of sights, we'll, we'll flag that and let you know that you need to, to change what that looks like. So here, here we have our flight area that, that we need to do. Last, we'll select the height. Um, if you wanted to, let's say you needed to fly higher than 100 feet, you can. That just won't be an automatic approval. It'll, it is eligible for further coordination. Because um, we do have 100 feet, let's select that. Next, go through our compliance check which essentially says you're going to be a good compliant 107 operator, as we know Kitty Hawkers to be. Next, we will run our pre-flight checks and make sure that this flight plan checks out. In this case, it does. We show you some of the details with the airport um, and everything that you need to know. It looks good, so let's submit. And we will send this off to the FAA and come back with an authorization number. This has our reference code. It has a timeline of when we submitted it. And if you tap at the top or at the bottom, you can scroll through, see that flight plan, see the details associated with it. Remind yourself of the compliance. All of that in a couple seconds and you are clear to fly in class B. Should you need to go and check your records as you would expect from us, we've made that super easy. You can go to assets and authorizations to see that, that list of, of approved. Um, to take you quickly through these categories, pending will show all of your um, pending authorizations that are eligible for further coordination and are waiting to hear back from ATC to see if those will be approved or not. Uh, we have approved coordinations that we just went through. Uh, rejected means that either Kitty Hawk, the FAA, has deemed that a prior approval needs to be rescinded. It could be because a TFR has popped up or, or something that will affect that airspace not being compliant for that, for that time and that place. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and then last we have canceled. Um, and this is where the timeline is really useful. So we can see here I submitted for manual review for the coordination on the 10th. Because we didn't hear back in time, that request was actually canceled by Kitty Hawk because it expired without resolution from the airport. And if we want to, we can go back and see where that was, was suggested. So this timeline is really handy as you go back and see what your records are, especially as you're planning these farther in advance. So this is Lance by Kitty Hawk. Give it a try and let us know what you think. Always love your feedback. Email us anytime. Twitter, Facebook, looking forward to hearing your comments and getting you access to controlled airspace right from your phone. Enjoy.